What is up guys, Kenny KO back with another video and I just want to say a huge thank you guys. We have officially reached 8,000 subscribers and I just want to do a quick intro and say thank you to everyone who's been supporting and loyal to the channel and continues to interact on the channel. Um, like I've told you guys before, if you want your comments and questions answered more frequent and more often and faster, go ahead and shoot me a DM or a comment on one of my photos. I'm super good at replying to your guys' comments that way. But let's get to the video, what you guys are all waiting for. Now I didn't use the name in the title of the video, but you all probably know who I was talking about, and that is the infamous Brad Castleberry boys. All right, the manimal. And you guys know back in my previous videos, I've probably been the guy to do the most consistent videos on Brad Castleberry, and probably used and abused his name in my videos as well. But going back, guys, if you scroll all the way down, Brad Castleberry. For those of you who are new or don't know about Brad Castleberry. He was known for using fake weights or fake plates, as you can see in these pictures here. I did previous videos on those if you want to go back to my channel and watch those videos that were done about a couple months ago. But this one is not about that, guys. This is Brad Castleberry is taking it to a whole nother level, and I'm not entirely positive if they are fake or not, but I'm going to show you a couple red flags to me, okay? So, in these videos here, I'm going to go ahead and give you an example. Here is a dumbbell press with 120 pounds on each side or for each dumbbell basically. So let's watch the video. Shirt off, pants down boys. Here we go, the famous Brad Casaberry about to tackle these 120s for a ride on the bench. Let's go. So apparently Brad Castleberry still thinks he's lifting heavy and with these fake amounts of weights. I'm going to show you guys some funny videos here, but little disclaimer before we actually get to any more videos. People were curious about my last video, how I said that I contacted or Brad Castleberry basically called me out and DM me on Instagram, but he didn't personally DM me, his trainer or the guy that runs his, comp his supplement company, the guy that trains with him reached out to me on Instagram and they basically called me out at telling me to come out and train with them at this 24 hour gym in SoCal or Carlsbad and to basically prove that the weights were real and once I saw that the weights were real that I would have to come out with a public apology and prove that. Basically the overview, they told me to come down. I said, okay, I'm 100% down, but I'm gonna be honest, 100% honest in my video, if Brad is using fake weights, I'm gonna call him out for being in person with him using fake weights. And they said, okay, that's fine, but we're gonna show you that the weights are real. So I said, okay, that's cool. And then I, we, you know, we continued to talk and I said, there's no way the weights are real, et cetera, et cetera. And then it ended with, I told them, when should I book my flight? I'm about to do it. And I was literally at home, guys, on Southwest, about to book the dates to fly out. I told them that I would pay for my flight. I would pay for my gym day. I would pay for my stay there at a hotel or motel. And they never got back to me. He read the comment, and it ended there. So obviously, they were trying to bluff me out, guys. Brad Castleberry knows they're fake weights. He's trying to fool all the new guys into the fitness industry into it. But let's go ahead and jump back into the video here. Now, I'm going to show you how bad the form is with the fake plates as well. Hey, what's up, guys? Just hitting my arm workout here on a Friday. And here I am hitting a 315 on an overload set on straight bar curl. I'm going to hit my reps going up. So this is my fifth set. And then I'll have to hit one set going down. So this is my overload set, so I'm going extremely heavy. Here you go. Yeah. Bicep curl 315, boys. Shirt off, pants down. Let's go. Let's go. You might as well take your shoes off. What's up, dude? <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Well, he knows what's going on. There's some fake weight action. Come on. Look at that curl form, boys. On top of using fake weights. Alright. 
Okay, but the main reason I made this video, guys, was based on these dumbbells in this video here, okay? So you saw how they were 120s. There's a red flag for me. All of his dumbbell videos that he's using now, he's using 120s for every single exercise. So I feel like Brad Castlebury somehow figured out a way to get fake dumbbells now as well as fake plates. I don't know how he managed to do so, guys. Let's go ahead and check this one out. What are we doing today? Some shoulders. These one twenties. Let's go. So it's dumbbell flying one twenties, and then front raising one twenty. Now the form is absolutely awful. But it's just a huge red flag to me, guys, that he's using these 120-pound same dumbbells in every single video. Like, his weight never changes for that. And that's a huge red flag to me because that means he, he's not fluctuating in the amount of weight he lifts. Okay, never mind. Apparently, those were the only two videos there, guys, with the dumbbells. But granted, those are fairly new for Brad Castlebury, so I promise we're going to be seeing those 120s very frequent in the near future from Brad Castlebury's Instagram. Um, so the fake dumbbells, guys, that's going to be the new trend in the fitness industry. It's no longer the fake plates. That's outdated. No one cares about doing that anymore. That's no longer trendy. It is now the fake dumbbells. That is the come up. That's where you need to be. You do not lift unless you have fake 120s to throw around, boys. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to stay shredded, stay aesthetic. Signing out.